Hello, my name is Stef Bronswaar and I head EFSA's work on scientific cooperation within Europe and internationally. Today I'll talk about the central role scientific cooperation plays in what we do. EFSA's mission is help ensuring that food is safe for Europe's 500 million consumers. To achieve such a demanding task, EFSA cannot and does not work in isolation. Working closely with all our European partners is crucial in making sure that decisions concerning food safety are supported by the best scientific evidence available. This is why the principle of scientific cooperation is fundamental to EFSA and indeed is built into EFSA's founding regulation. Scientific cooperation takes place through our work with member states, scientific organizations and individual experts. Firstly, the member states. All countries have national authorities that are responsible for food safety. EFSA works hand in hand with them, mainly through the advisory forum. This forum brings together heads of national agencies responsible for food safety from all over Europe, as well as Iceland and Norway. They advise EFSA on scientific matters and help shape our work program, avoid duplication of activities and warn us about new risks in the food chain, ensuring that consumers are being protected in the best way possible. In order to work at its best, this system needs a support network to make sure that agreements are turned into actions. Therefore, all member states have appointed focal points who work together with EFSA to share information and use a wide range of tools to pool risk assessment expertise. Together, we also aim to strengthen this expertise and do so by sharing training opportunities and sharing expertise from different countries. Cooperation is crucial also to the collection of accurate and harmonized data from across Europe. This allows EFSA to understand, for example, how often foods are contaminated with bacteria or chemicals and at what levels. This information combined with reliable data on people's eating habits, also means we can assess to what extent consumers are exposed to a certain hazard. Another important way in which we promote scientific cooperation is by working with selected scientific organizations. Each year, EFSA awards grants and contracts worth millions of euros to organizations working in the public interest to carry out projects supporting our risk assessment work. Finally, tapping into the knowledge of thousands of individual experts, scientific experts throughout Europe and wider, is another important way in which EFSA champions scientific cooperation. To this end, together with the member states, we have assembled a database of about 4,000 external experts who we can call on to support our scientific work. Working together is essential to ensure that Europe's food remains safe.